What's going on everybody? My name is Rico. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my channel is about vlogs, series and tutorials. And in this episode of How to Thursday, I'm going to show you guys how to change the perspective of your image using the perspective module in Darktable. So we're going to use these three pictures down here to show you guys the perspective correction module. As you can see the building is looking a little bit weird because it looks like it's uh, bending backwards a little bit. So we have to change that. The same goes for this image. As you can see the tower is very crooked and there's just something off with this building over here. And the third one is a picture you guys have seen me use before. It's because of the horizon, which is a little bit off. I'm going to show you inside the perspective module how to fix that. So let's start with this one. We're going to the perspective module. If you don't see them over here, I've got it in my favorites. You can go to more modules and then select it down below. The easiest way to change this with the perspective module is to use the guides. So we're going to put the guides on on. And now unlike the crop and rotate module where you could draw horizontal lines now we have to use the rotation tool so we're going to press the right mouse button and it allows us to change the image and I have to do it like this this looks kind of good so you click once and now what you can do is you can go to automatic cropping select it for the largest area and then close the perspective module and as you can see it has straightened the horizon and now the image looks cool so time to move on to the next image which is this image uh, the perspective module has a great way to straighten this all out you can use this one get the structure and then you will see it adds all kinds of lines to it and when you press the automatic fit which is this one the first one you see that it completely changes the image and now we need to crop it so I'm going to use automatic cropping largest area and I'm going to keep it like this close the perspective module and there you go now the building is nice and straight it doesn't look like it's bending backwards and it looks a lot better than it was before I'll show you guys by taking a snapshot real quick hit the original hit the snapshot and there you have it this is the original picture and this is the picture after it's been edited. I'm going to deselect this by clicking on it. And I'm going to the final image. And the final image uses the same principle. We are going to the perspective module. We are going to hit the grid structure. And we are going to press automatic fit. And as you can see it is straightened out. What you can do as well is if you reset everything. And just hit the automatic fit button. It will automatically fit it like this as well. And now we need to crop it because we need to get rid of these black areas over here. So I'm going to the automatic cropping largest area. Close the perspective module and there you go. This is afterwards. Let's take a quick snapshot. Select the snapshot. Select the original one. And draw this line over here. This is the original picture. And this is the picture after we've used the perspective module. And that's it. That's how you can change the perspective of your image. So the next time you take a picture and you see a building that's leaning backwards or you see a horizon that's being off, don't throw the picture away. Remember this tutorial, go to dark table, straighten everything out. And then who knows, you might end up with a great image. And I guess there's just one more thing left for me to say, which is make love to the like button. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Hit that bell button to be the first to be notified when I drop a new video. And until next time, doei!